All right. Now, uh, we spoke with Karina about uh, Mexico's elections, but uh, I'd like to talk now about our elections, if you will, the most important elections. So-called elections. Our so-called elections and how they have been now definitively and forever sullied by foreign influence. You know, folks, we got a lot of comments, you know, over the last several shows from angry listeners going, why aren't you addressing the Mueller indictments? Yeah. Well, where is where is your four hour show about going through reading the entire Mueller indictments? Yeah. Who are these people? Who are these twelve Russians that have been indicted? They're, they're from the GRU. Yeah. They're from GRU. Yes. George they're, they're, George Racism <laughs> University. <laughs> uh, you know where was your show about the Helsinki summit? Where the disgrace? Where the disgrace of our disgrace. Pres- about President Cheeto officially. Got on his he knees and sucked that man's Vladimir Putin. He did it. Trump and Putin sitting in a tree. K I S S I N P. Okay, the the final and ultimate disgrace. America, America. Lowest our point. forefathers, mm-hmm. our flags, our five fathers, our, 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 our six our, fathers, our, our traditions. Dare I say, our seven fathers? Our all government s- just spinning in their grave over what has happened today. Oh. And yesterday and the day before. So, yeah, I mean, well, now we're going to talk about that, yeah. you know, which is uh, to say still don't really give a yeah, shit. No, okay. It's funny yeah, to okay. me. Okay. Um, okay. I yeah. didn't watch the Helsinki summit. Apparently, everyone's so mad because uh, he just said, said the thing that he said a million times, but on foreign soil. Yeah. No, he said uh, while Putin was standing next to him that he <laughs> does, he didn't believe that uh, what the uh, FBI. Yeah. Which he has said a million laid times. Out, which he has said before. But so now people are, are playing this up to be like, this is fine. No, but wait. And then he said there was meddling, but it could have been by a lot of people. There are a lot of people. No, he said that after that. That was the most amazing part. Is he actually did get a lot of pushback? But he's not wrong. Republicans. There are a lot of people. There are a lot of people. There's at least there are l- many. There's at least a hundred of them. Yeah. You know, uh, he got a lot of sternly <laughs> worded "How dare you, sirs?" from Republicans. So about 24 hours later, he did say that in the conference when he said it wasn't Russians, he meant to say it was. Well, he no, said, he said he said what he said at the at, at the press conference was, "I don't see any reason to believe it was the Russians." And then 24 hours later, he came out with a with a pres- with a statement that said, "I I meant to say, there's not any reason to think it wasn't the Russians." But right. and then, as Amber said, he also <laughs> liked to say, "Could have been the Russians. Could have been other people. Yeah. There were lots of people. Yeah. Lots of people. There yeah. are lots of people who know about computers. Couldn't, I, I couldn't fit them all in this room. <laughs> nope. That's how many nope. people there are. Uh, so yeah, like th- th- this is now, uh, you know, the Trump Putin thing, and then coming right on the heels of this later uh, Mueller indictment, which you know does lay out the extent to which Russian government actors interfered in the election. People who will never, by the way, be ch- be tried yeah, in American are, courts. They won't be no. extradited. It's literally meaningless. No American has been charged with any material connection to the Russian hacking or dis- or collusion, whatever that is. It's not a criminal fucking offense. It's just like, you know, and, that, and, and people like this is the this has been like the crown jewel for, you know, the resistance types, yeah. you know, the people who care about our democracy and what Donald Trump has done to it. Uh, they, you know, it sort of seems to be like, you know, at long last, yeah. can't you now, Chapo podcast, yeah. asshole, can I you actually now, had a guy quote can tweet, you now admit I got a quote that you tweet, were wrong? I got a quote tweet on the day uh, of an old tweet of mine where I just said, nobody cares about Rush, you fucking idiots. And he goes, what's the opposite of an evergreen tweet? Ooh. And I was just thinking, you're so, you're you a temperate you're deciduous pro- tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally true. Very good. I came in with uh, the tree joke. Uh, but I worry sometimes that I've lost my ability to riff. <laughs> but they fucking, it's like, who's mad? Who's screaming about this? The same people who've been screaming about it for over a year. You know, I, I don't want to Nothing has like, changed, you maniacs. I don't want to be like, oh, this is how the people with the healthier left political culture uh, think of us. But... At one point, uh, I was talking to some people in Durham about like uh, the the Romaniacs, like yeah. the people who want to call a, a second referendum to stay within the EU. Turn yeah. those like machines a long time. back on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and they're like, they don't get like how alienating that is to yeah. people. He's like, it's like with your Russia thing. He's like, <laughs> why do they think people care about this? Yeah. Why do they think that they're going to get people who they have like who they spent the last however many years alienating? back on their side with this but we were robbed thing yeah. like that's completely stupid well, they, and they... moreover i i mean they're like it's it's similar to uh the 
the, the Brexit shit too, because they think if there was a second referendum that uh, that actually they would they would stay, they would remain. He's like, but you don't know that. No, they don't. And, they also, and like, and if we counted all of the, if we if we got every bit of uh, whatever collusion or or whatever and quantified it and figured out if that wasn't there, if there was some way to do that. You don't know that Hillary would have won still oh, anyway. Not. So I who mean, fucking cares? And, and also with the Remain thing, they also, you know, know that Russia, you know, interfered in that as well. That's true. Or like that. And again, like, I, I remember, I have nothing to take back because I remember saying, like, as soon as this became a story, I just took it at face value that Russia put their finger Why on the scale. Why wouldn't you want Why one of your biggest they? rallies and here's, but here's rivals the, to be governed by a dunce moron? But here's the thing. Dying brain. Here's the thing. Like, I don't think it is like this genuine one to one where they're literally like dictating what no. he does and says. No, of course. But like, not. the thing is, I still don't care, and I can't get mad about it because, like, good on them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sorry if you don't think America does the same thing, and oh, even, even to a more blatant and criminal degree in other countries, like you're out of your fucking and mind. In That's Russia right. specifically. <laughs> yes, like, absolutely. We got we dragged the bloated fucking vodka filled corpse of Yeltsin across the line in 1996 to keep the communists from getting back in power and then he sold off the entire country to the oligarchs who are now fucking with our election and bribing Trump wow karma is a bitch again it's my just favorite like, thing about it though okay. is that statement on Tuesday where I said actually when I said was I meant wasn't <laughs> because you know that what happened was is that they actually did get their biggest ever Absolutely got their biggest ever pushback from Republicans. I mean, of course, it's all meaningless. None of them are going to do anything about it. Jeff, Jeff Flake, Jeff Fuck, and fucking uh, McCain. None of them are going to do anything. Even Neil Cavuto said it was a bad look. Oh, well, but, you mean you've lost Cavuto. Exactly. Uh, you've lost Cavuto. You've lost Lou Dobbs. No, you'll never <laughs> lose Lou Dobbs. Uh, and they realize, okay, we have to say something about this. This is actually kind of a blowback. And you know that there was a fucking war room, you know, in the West Wing. A bunch of guys late into the night with the coffee pots going, okay, what do we do? And they've got the thing and they're like, well, what if we just say that he meant the other word? <laughs> and that's why, as we've said before, I want to see a Sorkin-esque take on this White House and just so people can see this is what, this is how the sausage, this is the sausage that's being made. It's not this soaring eloquence and these guys just riffing off each other's policy and rhetorical genius. It's a bunch of absolute dullards who, from Georgetown going, okay, uh, what if we say it was, uh, there was actually supposed to be a T at the end. <laughs> That's it. Um, but like, you know, go, going off this, like uh, you, you, you spoke about uh, uh, Jeff Fuck. There's another Jeff Fuck. There's two Jeff Fuck. There's two Jeff Fuck. There's the senator Fuck. There, yeah, there's the senator one who's like a Republican, but like a how dare you, sir. Uh, yeah. By the way, every one of these Republicans could, could literally switch parties. Especially like, like a guy Jim, like was Flake. It Jim, uh, Jim Jeffords did? Or? Uh, yes. Uh, especially a guy like Flake, because Flake's not running for re-election. He has nothing to lose. He could absolutely caucus with the Dems. McCain is going to be dead in six weeks. He could caucus with the Dems. And they're not doing it because they like all the stuff they're passing and they like all the judges that they're confirming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, they're not going to ever give up judges because no. no. that's what they really care about. But OK, so there's another Jeff fuck. This is the Jeff Feck who's like this bald sort of like <laughs> Androsky called him like a Dr. Robotnik looking guy. <laughs> like he's this bald resistant shithead who like, you know, on the heels of all this was like lit hit, hit some god awful thing where he was like. I've literally had rose emojis making fun of me for saying that Americans care care about Russia more than like health care or something like this guy's whole income inequality. Yeah, I income inequality. Yeah. This guy's whole thing was like, can you believe the ignorant saps who think that the average voter cares more about jobs and health care? Those fucking rude. <laughs> then. Our president, our commander in chief, sullying the flag of this country with treason. Yeah, except, I think I, yeah. I I think they're operating under the assumption that people believe that we live in a democracy. Yes, which is completely false. Everyone knows that the game is rigged. But the game everyone, is, if you are an upper middle class professional, committed Democratic voter who's really invested in things like you know. Uh, comedy and civility and decency and you know our democratic norms and procedures it, it, it's kind of a democracy for you yeah you know uh, like i mean like politics does generally it's reflect a micro democracy the, the things you yeah. believe in and like the, your preferences or but i think i mean it's just a non-starter like you you there's no way to even measure how much people value democracy because i don't think anyone has ever encountered one <laughs> yeah. so like what are you even talking about you're speaking a different language to be honest, 
I'm not that invested with democracy. <laughs> but like, you know, for anyone who's not already a committed Democratic partisan who's, you know, furious about the 2016 election and Trump and, and Russiagate and all that, I'm sorry, like, this is fool's gold if you think this Russia shit is going to get out the vote for Democrats in 2018. And the thing is, I'm sorry, these, I don't just fucking whining, buy it. They're the just thing is, whining we don't even, assholes. We don't even have to fucking guess. These assholes love to talk about how much they love data and facts and how all these fucking starry-eyed socialists don't understand reality. Every fucking poll that has been taken of American voters about how they rank importance of issues has put Russia so far down on the list that often it doesn't even get a fucking numerical value. <laughs> Not kidding. The last poll that just came out, they weren't even on there with a number said Russian, Russian interference. That's the reality. And they, these people, these reality-based community members have convinced themselves that because everyone on their timeline is all, all part of the same insane, like, which is coven that thinks that they can tweet their way into making Trump disappear like he's in the picture back to the future that everybody else must agree with them. And they really don't log off. Take a breath. Yeah. It's a really inconsistent empiricism. Yeah. Only when it suits uh, them. Kind of weird. Another example of this is like during the uh, Helsinki summit. This is one of my favorite things that I saw during that day. Uh, Bernie Sanders uh, it was also like oh, it was Amazon Prime Day. Yes, it was. Uh, Bernie Sanders uh, tweeted. He was like, I would like Jeff Bezos to face his Amazon workers who are struggling for better conditions. And the mere fact that he was like calling out Jeff Bezos and Amazon on the same day yeah. as Trump uh. kowtowed to Putin. I saw so many people uh. getting angry at him, including Joan Walsh yep. literally quoted him and said, please, sir. Yeah. Or she was like, excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? Yeah. And I just saw this now from a uh, this is Asha Rangappa, who's a former FBI special agent. And she says, I could look at Bernie Sanders Twitter feed in the last 12 hours, which has four milquetoast critiques of Trump's comments today versus 52 against Amazon, Walmart and McDonald's. No RTs of anyone else's condemnations. Clearly, he's pretty upset about what went down. So yeah, he's not. Who cares how upset he is? He's not doing yeah. Twitter correctly. Who gives a for shit? What's people. it going to matter how upset he is? And he also look at Bernie Sanders. He's always upset. He's very mad at everything. But uh, here's what I like to say: like people who are like, you know, he's he's choosing. Oh, very interesting. He's choosing to go after Jeff Bezos, who owns the Washington Post, which has been critical of Trump on the day when Trump yeah. does this. And I gotta say, uh, okay, in terms of like human evil uh vladimir putin has definitely killed way more people than jeff yeah, bezos yeah. It's hard, it's, alone, again sure. it's it's hard to it's hard to gauge that but in terms of people who are actively subverting american democracy and making this country worse jeff bezos is a million times a zillion worse times than vladimir putin one the far greater domestic threat. seattle passed a head tax on and companies. internationally too like, yeah, because oh yeah. those, those workers are all over the world. The right. ones who are striking are doing so in Europe. Yeah. And by the way, it's work. Apparently, it's doing good. People are saying that they're fucking scrambling and they're not. They're not. The prime is not going. Prime day is not going the way that they thought it would. And that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, the, the Seattle tried to pass a, a, a modest head tax on companies to pay for housing and, and treatment for for their exploding homeless population. And Amazon, they didn't even have to conduct an anti democratic. A propaganda campaign to get him to repeal it. They just threatened to, yeah. and they got them to back down. How how fucking democratic is that? That that, that Putin never did anything that overtly uh, hostile to the interests of the citizens of an American city than that. So fuck him. Putin has literally done nothing to me personally, <laughs> like nothing to any American personally. I mean, maybe he fed some like gymnast to a tiger once, but we won't know about that. <laughs> I could just, I, Amber, I, I just, you say that, and I hear already the out the wails of outrage. Oh, they can suck my that, dick. That Putin has not done anything to any American. How dare you, ma'am? He he made Trump president. It's like again. This is this is. If you don't think Jeff Bezos is more responsible for Trump's presidency than Vladimir yes, Putin, you're yes, a fucking yes. dickhead. And I'm yes, sorry, queen. it's ha it's hacked by this point. I'll just say it again. Until Mueller or the FBI can literally prove that Putin stopped the Hillary Clinton campaign from ever visiting <laughs> Michigan or Wisconsin, <laughs> I'll just ignore it yeah. because I don't give a shit. Yeah. I like, do not give a shit. He, he did not win the election for Trump, and they also didn't, no one cares. They didn't make the the Democrats a. a Nominate dissolve, her. <laughs> dissolve, nominated Hillary Clinton, 
dissolve as a regional party in largest parts of the of country and allow Republicans to put up giant barriers to voting and suppressing yeah. uh, uh, turnout. They wrote off entire parts of the country, destitute yeah. parts yeah. of the country, because they were like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. We'll get those we'll get those outraged suburb rich suburbanites. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. We're the party of Prius. Yeah. That's it. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's old hat for us at this point. But I mean, when they're in they're in high the, the people are in high froth yeah. now about this Russia yeah. stuff. Well, hopefully, so I think froth. It, it's so now froth. I think they've deep all lather. they've all they've all taken a deep breath. They've all had their juice boxes, and I think they hopefully they'll calm down soon. Because settle down, everyone. No, I think their heads are gonna fucking explode. That would be funny too. I think that they're gonna shit their pants in public, and like they're gonna do that thing that that Coney guy did, where they was naked on the fucking overhead oh, pass man. or whatever. <laughs> that's 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 where this ends. Why doesn't anyone care about Putin? Because they don't. Because who cares? Yeah, and yet they still can't manage the passion of like the QAnon people. I know. I mean, those guys. One guy, he took, he fucking put his bloodless. truck uh, on the Hoover Dam to get the president to. <laughs> it was release. an armored car. Yeah, too. To, to release a cool. non-existent uh, report that would arrest all the pedophiles. <laughs> Uh, they don't even have the commitment to do that. They're just gonna yell at everybody on Twitter. It's pathetic. You're just saying, sir. <laughs> yeah, Getting- it's like if you're gonna if you're gonna embrace that sort of of self reinforcing conspiratorial mindset, go all the way. You know, put the fucking cork yeah. board up. Put the put the pieces of uh, of you know yarn connecting the things. Smear feces on your wall. Threaten your neighbor with a shotgun. Take it seriously. Yeah, I, I mean, I think. It just betrays that either they're complete cowards or they're histrionic, and this is completely cynical. Like, either they don't believe it or they're not committed enough to care. That's true. Are there, or like, I mean, All they can do is tantrum. Yeah. It's like the, the Bernie Sanders... And The yeah. Bernie Sanders thing is so indicative of this because it's like, imagine being like, you know, he's probably the only politician or one of the few national politicians I can think of that's trying to... Uh, shine a, shed a light on Amazon's truly atrocious labor practices and, like, the fact that you want to talk about Russia? One of those fucking warehouses is like a gulag, as far as mm-hmm. I'm concerned. You can like your 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 every step you take is timed by some algorithm, and you can literally only go to the bathroom like once every twelve hours or something like that. If you can look at that, like that kind of treatment of people that is just accepted and considered okay by the standards of like normal political discourse. I'm sorry, that has more to do why Trump is president than fucking Putin. Mm -hmm. It's just the way that like people are just incredible. They're just ground down day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute by mega corporate employers like Amazon so that, you know, we all can get like three dollars off some, you know, fucking chair or household appliance. Yeah, a dongle that'll break in two weeks. You know, uh, so. I don't, don't know what else to say about that other than uh, if you must buy our book, don't use Amazon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, b- yeah, getting getting mad because he's, uh, r- you know, talking about the labor rights of an exploited population of workers uh, on the day when you want him to be share your outrage about it's just our pure fucking emotional. Our flag in yeah. our country and, uh, you know, Russia. It's all just, they, they, these people, like, they, they're just like, they're all boomers who grew up in the Cold War, and it like never ended in their fucking yeah. mind. It's just like, and, they, and it's just they're 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 the, what I keep coming back to is just how how I don't understand how they think it's supposed to work because if they think that Mueller is going to get the goods right, well then it's going to end up all with you know uh, uh, indictments and everyone uh, confessing and impeachment and all that stuff because of facts found by an investigation that are then turned into a prosecution. If that's not it, what do you think tweeting about it is going to do? I mean, what, what do you think yelling all the time is going to do about it, as opposed to trying to craft a broadly appealing message to people who feel like politics doesn't speak to them because their lives haven't been improved by it? <sighs> yeah, uh, I got no know what else to, uh, to say about that. Uh, I have this to say. Uh, Comrade Putin, you're fired. 